Making health and nutrition a priority during COVID-19 is proving to be a challenge. Joining us now, though, with tips on how to stay physically and mentally healthy is Andrea Ahern. We spoke as she's a clinical nutrition manager at St. David's North Austin Medical Center. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me this morning. So when people are stressed out, and we are, we tend to turn to junk food, right? So how do we get out of this repetitive cycle? Oh, that's a great question. Um, having a plan is probably number one, you know, not letting yourself just fall victim to the boredom and just walking by the pantry and grabbing whatever you see. Uh, really sticking to your normal routine, um, starting your day the way you normally would, even if you're not leaving the house, um, but getting up and you know, having your cup of coffee, getting dressed, getting showered, um, you know, and having your plan for the day, really scheduling yourself as if you were um, in a normal work routine. You mentioned boredom. Yes. Are we replacing our normal activities with food because there's nothing else to do, we think? Oftentimes, yes. Um, it's very mindless activity. We don't think about it until we start seeing the pounds creep on and then we look back and think, oh, no, what did we do? Um, but it, it, it's very common and it's just being more aware of your routine, um, assessing the habits and having some healthy food prepared, ready to go. And that's also going to really help your grocery shopping trips too, so that you're not having to run to the store just to get uh, milk and bread or um, some condiments. So if you know what you're having for the next five to seven days, you can plan for it. Yeah. Healthy eating is really important to keeping your immune system just in tip top shape and keeping it in top condition. What are ways to do that? Really, you're going to approach it um, like you would a healthy diet in general. And we talk about this during flu season, too. You just want to uh, make sure you're having a good variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. Frozen and canned are a great alternative. Um, frozen fruits and vegetables are just as fresh and healthy um, as, the, as the raw products. And so you just want to have that variety of color on your plate every day. Um, you want to mix it up, not eat the same thing day after day. Um, make sure you're getting all your food groups in there, have plenty of fiber, drink lots of water. Um, and of course, it's more than just nutrition too. It's getting fresh air, it's exercise, uh, it's being mindful of uh, your surroundings and being able to calm that mind as well. Okay, and talk about the importance of having a positive mindset. Really, your mindset is everything going into this. If we are constantly barraged by the news, um, bad messages, fear, anxiety, uh, it's going to be hard to recover from that. And so setting every day with some goals for something positive, find the good things. Think about all the money you're saving on gas, no car accidents. Um, you know, it's, there's really a lot of things we can find to um, put that positive spin on it and approach your daily routine with the fact of what, what are you going to get most out of the day? Um, what, what's productive for you for that day? And uh, how are you going to nourish and feed your mind and body? Sage advice. Thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure.